This is where I work. This is my home studio. This is the area that I reserve for um, wet media and for analog media, uh, drawing, sketching, painting. I like to surround myself with um, things, items that remind me of my family history and, um, and things that I find inspiring. Um, and sometimes those two things come together. This is a report card uh, that from my mother's um, youth. Uh, she was in Italy during the fascist um, regime and, um, and uh, as horrible as that was, uh, this is a memory of that. Um, and uh, the graphics are really interesting. Um, on the back side is the actual handwritten report. Um, so this is my little Italian corner, my Italian flag, except for this, which is Mexican. This is a treasure of mine. Uh, it's actually a wrapper from the Fornazetti store in Milan. Uh, it was the only thing when I went there, which was 20 years ago, it was the only thing I could afford to get in the store. And this part of my very long desk I reserve for uh, any kind of digital work that I'm doing. Um, and these days it's set up uh, very specifically for teaching, which I do at two different colleges in Toronto. And then up here I just have some more things that um, this is a, actually part of a recent illustration that I did. Um, it's a study for the hands that I used in a New Yorker uh, piece. And these are not by me. Um, but those are recent purchases of, of uh, medical oddities. And these are a couple of plates that I actually made. It's a, it's a long story, but um, I'm, I've always been interested in putting my work on some kind of hard surfaces like ceramics or dishes or something other than paper. Uh, this is where I store everything uh, when I'm not using it. I have lots in here and tons of acrylic, uh, watercolor. Um, I keep wash in this. Um, this is actually a box that had a Russian watch in it uh, that I loved the box so I kept it and in here is what it was I don't use it so much anymore but that was my favorite Payne's Gray wash well I hope you enjoyed this brief tour of my space <laughs>